If I want to find where it's concave up for this function, well, if we, there's the function. If I graph it, that's what it looks like. Can you tell it's concave up right here? Do you understand those are points of inflections? I can't really point very good. Do you see a point of inflection right there? And a point of inflection right there? And it's concave up right there in that little hump? How do you find points of inflections? There's no function in your calculator, unless you have a titanium, to find points of inflections. So how do you find those humps? What you have to do, it's kind of tricky, but you have to actually draw, graph the derivative. So you go math, and you go in deriv, and then what equation are you deriving? You're deriving y1, so you hit bars, and you go, window, you go over 1, you go to functions, there's y1, comma, we're deriving respect to x, and you do x one more time because you're plugging x back into itself. Close your parenthesis. And then I'm going to graph this. What's going to happen here is I'm going to be graphing the derivative of this graph. Now look carefully at this graph. Do you see right here this hump? Isn't that the point of inflection of this? You see that hump? That's the point of inflection of this one. And isn't this hump the point of inflection of this one? So could I find this minimum and this maximum using my max and min function? So I go second trace. I'm going to do minimum first. And I, oh, I'm on the wrong function. Can you just push down and it jumps to the other function? Got to go left bound. Walk my way across to the right bound guess. And your calculator pops out with negative 0.500. So negative 0.5. That's where mine rounded. I think others could round a little bit differently, but negative 0.500. Isn't that the left side? Isn't it going to go from this point to this point? Isn't that where it's concave up? So to find the other one, you're going to find a maximum. Oh, other graph. You go from your left bound, walk your way across to the right bound, enter, and it looks like it's symmetrical, so it should be the, oh, yeah, to uh, 0.499, which is 0.5. Is that the interval for which it's concave up? Yeah. Isn't my graph concave up from there to there? 0.5, negative one half to positive one half? Yes.